Many of you have seen me do the Versamark Resist technique on glossy cardstock, but you can also do this technique on regular cardstock for a softer look. Let me show you the tools and products you're going to need to do this technique. First, you're going to need some Versamark ink. Then you're going to need some cardstock, and I'm using a piece of the 120 pound ivory cardstock by Gina K Designs. Then you're going to need a rubber stamp, and I'm using one of the dandelion flowers or the wishing flowers uh, from the brand new Sun Kissed Autumn Stamp TV kit. Then you're also going to need a sponge dauber and some ink, and I've chosen the Memento Toffee Crunch ink. Now you can also use distress inks or other dye inks for this technique. I wouldn't recommend using uh, hybrid inks or pigment inks as they may cover up the Versamark a little bit more. You do want that to be able to show through. So to begin, I'm going to start by randomly stamping this flower image all over this piece of ivory cardstock. And I'm going to stamp some of the images off the cardstock too, so it looks a little bit more finished on the edges. You don't want to do too much of a pattern. You want this to be very random and very delicate. And when you actually do this technique at home, you are going to be able to see where you're stamping because Versamark leaves a very light watermark behind, which although it doesn't pick up very well on the camera, you are able to see that in real life. And if you do have a little bit of trouble seeing it, just tilt the paper into the light a little bit and you'll be able to see it much better. Okay, so now I have my flowers stamped all over this piece of cardstock. Now I'm not going to emboss this. I'm just going to go right to my ink pad and using this sponge dauber, I'm going to grab some of that ink and I'm going to lightly rub over the areas that I use the Versamark on and you'll see those flowers starting to appear. You don't need to emboss to get an image when you're using Versamark. Now you'll get a much brighter image if you use embossing powder, clear embossing powder on this, but this is a definitely a soft, subtle look. You can also use one of those foam applicators made by Ranger. It's a nice way to apply ink as well. But the sponge daubers are fun to use. There. You can see how pretty that looks. Now for my card project, I took this panel and I mixed it with a little bit of dark chocolate and that kind of helps the image come out even more. You can see that. Let's zoom in a little so you can see it even closer. So I'll just attach that so you can see how that looks. Just that little bit of dark border around the outside makes a big difference. Isn't that pretty? It almost looks like fireworks in the sky too. So let me show you my finished card project. You can see once this ink dries, it dries a little bit lighter in my finished project. And I used the other dandelion stamp, flower stamp from the Sun Kissed Autumn Stamp TV kit and the Make-A-Wish greeting. This makes a very elegant, lovely birthday card. And I did the cheater's bow technique. And if you haven't seen that, you can check that video on Stamp TV on how to do a cheater's bow. But that's a fun technique to be able to put a bow around a flower without having to worry about a glue dot or any tape or anything. And I mounted that whole focal image panel and the greeting on top of my Versamark Resist background. And what a pretty project that makes. Try this technique on pastel cardstock and use a shade or two darker ink for a more colorful version of this soft and subtle background.